Vitamin D. I'm a skin expert. Here's when to take tablet even if you spend time outside. Vitamin D is an essential nutrient needed by our bodies to keep our bones, teeth and muscles healthy. A deficiency can lead to serious problems such as bone pain as well as bone deformities. While our diets can provide some vitamin D, the majority of it comes from exposure to sunlight. Our bodies synthesize vitamin D when ultraviolet B rays from the sun hit the skin. For this reason, there is a risk of becoming deficient during the autumn and winter months in the UK, as the days get shorter. Nutritional therapist, Andy Daly from skin health specialists Dr. David Jack, spoke with Express.co.uk about whether spending time outside at this time of year is enough to get the vitamin D we need. She said, spending time outside during autumn and winter can provide some exposure to natural sunlight, which is a valuable source of vitamin D. However, the amount of sunlight available during these seasons is reduced, and many factors can affect your ability to produce enough vitamin D from sunlight alone. These factors include your location, the time of day, your skin type, clothing, and cloud cover. Some people should therefore consider taking a supplement. Andy continued, if you live in a northern region with limited sunlight during the winter months, have darker skin, which reduces vitamin D synthesis, or spend most of your time indoors during daylight hours, you might not get sufficient vitamin D from sun exposure alone. In such cases, a vitamin D supplement may be beneficial to maintain adequate levels. According to the NHS, the government actually recommends everyone take a daily vitamin D supplement during the autumn and winter for this reason. The health body adds, people at high risk of not getting enough vitamin D, all children aged 1 to 4, and all babies, unless they're having more than 500 milliliters of infant formula a day, should take a daily supplement throughout the year. What is the best time to take a vitamin D supplement? Andy recommended taking vitamin D supplements at the same time every day, and pairing with meals that contain fat for the best results. The best time to take a vitamin D supplement can vary, she said. Consistency is always a factor to consider when taking supplements, so taking it at the same time every day will help to ensure this. Some people prefer taking vitamin D in the morning to ensure they get their daily dose and to avoid any potential interference with sleep. As vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, which means it is better absorbed when taken with dietary fat, taking it with a meal that contains some fat can enhance absorption. If a person is taking multiple supplements, they need to be aware of potential interactions. For example, taking calcium and magnesium supplements alongside vitamin D can affect absorption, so it may be best to separate these supplements or consult a health practitioner for guidance. The NHS states that children aged over 1 and adults need 10 micrograms MCG or UG, of vitamin D a day. This is the same as 400 international units IU, of vitamin D. Do not take more than 100 micrograms 4, IU, of vitamin D a day as it could be harmful, the NHS says.